It's finally time for the second part of our 2022 to 2023 PA Rabbit season. If you missed part one, you can find it at the top of the screen right now. This video starts out with the hunt on a friend's property that we only hunted once before. Last year we got three rabbits up and three rabbits down at this spot, so we were hopeful for a good day. But after going through the first three sections without a chase, it was looking like a wasted day. But in the final section, Maggie finally jumped one. Who cares? I mean, she was under the log. Yeah. Well, I'd say they found one now. After the dogs were on it good, we split up, and fortunately for me, the rabbit came hopping right down the old road I was guarding. go. Good girl. <laughs> we hunted the rest of the cover but never found another rabbit. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. The next hunt was back with just my dad and I and it started out in the worst way. The dogs jumped one pretty quick only for it to run right into a hole. Then a short while later, I kicked the rabbit out and watched it run five yards straight into another hole. Thankfully, the next rabbit the dogs put out wanted to run. He was coming. This one I got with an assist from Dad. He saw the rabbit coming towards him only for it to sit in some thick cover until the dogs got close. When it decided to move again, it came flying past him and he yelled to let me know it was headed my way.
Well, it jumped like I hit it, but it kept running. I was confident I hit this rabbit, but not sure I actually got it. The dogs came to where I shot and then went silent. I'm not sure how far the rabbit ran after my second shot, but like so many times in the past, Maggie ended up finding and retrieving the rabbit. Here Maggie, good girl. Bring it here, Mags. Bring it here, Maggie. Bring it here. This next and final chase of the day made for one of the more memorable encounters of the year. The dogs had jumped this rabbit in the fence row to my left and started heading out the fence row above me and to the right. This has happened quite often over the years, and I expected the rabbit to run the length of that fence row and into the connected woodlot, and eventually making its way back to the original fence row where I was waiting. However, it decided to double back the same way it came, and while the dogs were still heading away from me, I noticed it coming right at me. This happened so fast and I was so close to connecting on this rabbit, it really would have been a great shot, but in the end I missed and it ended up in a hole at the bottom of the fence row. We had four rabbits out that day, three of which ended up in a hole and one ended up in my vest. It always stinks when they are hole happy, but at least we got one. Chase is on. Move up ahead of where it started just a little bit and hopefully I can get in a position for it when it circles back. Our final hunt of the video started out with a hot and heavy chase with quick results. It's hard to tell here, but I knew I hit this rabbit, but once again, I just wasn't sure how well. I ended up getting this rabbit and we quickly had one in the bag. Maggie, hey, Maggie, hey, there you got him. There it is. There it is. 
Yeah, good girls. Good girls. For this shot, the dogs were in the middle of a really long chase. They were over 150 yards away, so I wasn't really expecting a rabbit to come out when it did. I had to swing the gun down and around my dad at the top of the screen and get a shot off quick before the rabbit made it across the shooting lane. I wasn't sure if I got it, and it ended up being a rabbit the dogs weren't actually chasing. I pushed it out while chasing a different rabbit, so I just stayed put while the original chase continued. About 10 minutes later, while standing in the exact same spot, the original rabbit made its way into range. This is always one of my favorite parts, just listening and watching the dogs come back to the rabbit after a really long chase. It always makes me laugh how they often go right past the rabbit without even noticing. It really shows how they hunt with their nose and not their eyes, as they continue to keep sniffing past the rabbit. Molly here. Molly here. Molly here. Maggie, hey. Molly, hey, Molly, look. Good girls. Molly, here. Molly, here. You got him, girl. You got him. Good job. Good job. Now, come here. I need you, need you to look for another one for me. All right, so we got that one. Now I want him to see if we can find that one I shot that I think I might have hit, but I'm not really sure about. Wouldn't be surprised if they go in there and come back with this one. I thought maybe I got a piece of it, but. Here it is, girls, here it is, girls, here it is. Yep, right there it lays. I did get it. <laughs> so that one ran wild. When they were chasing that one, this one that I just shot, one busted out across this. I ended up getting that one too, apparently. All right, that makes three that I got in my vest. Only two that they chased, but this one was definitely a product of them running the running that last one. So we'll give them credit for all three. Well, the dogs came to about 30 yards, but I don't know where the rabbit went. Unless it's sitting tight here. I don't think so. Dang. This final chase was another really long one. I was only one rabbit away from a limit, which I have never gotten before, so I was really hoping I would get a shot. I knew I would have to end the hunt soon to protect the dogs from overexerting themselves, and when I caught a glimpse of the rabbit, I decided to take the shot. You can see just how thick it is, and I'm not even sure I was shooting at the rabbit. I just shot where I thought I saw it stop. It's no surprise it didn't connect, and only about 15 yards after where I last saw the rabbit, the dogs quit barking. It either got into a hole or into one of the thick pile of limbs left over from when the shooting lanes were cut. While I really would have liked to keep going and try for my limit, I did what was best for the old girls and headed for the truck. It was a great hunt and likely my last chance at a limit with Maggie and Molly, but that's okay. The memories are what really matter. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really means a lot. If you like this, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next rabbit hunting video. See you next time.